Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and today I'm going to do a tutorial on mapping your machine pads to play back your sounds inside machine in scale. So just to show you what I mean by that, I'm going to load up a instrument to start out and I'm going to choose a guitar sound. By default, this sound is going to play back when I hit the no, uh, the pad on my machine that it's loaded into. So it's loaded onto pad 1. So when I hit pad 1, it'll play back. And when I hit the other notes, all these other sounds that have nothing loaded into them will be triggered instead, as you'll see down here. But we can also switch into keyboard mode by pressing this button here. and we get uh, a whole range of notes to play with. However, it's not set up to be in any specific key or scale, so we need to do that ourselves. So to do that, I'm going to exit machine and go into the machine controller editor and make sure that you have the latest version of both controller editor and machine installed on your computer before doing this. I had some troubles with an earlier version of controller editor right when machine 2 came out. Alright, so we're going to start a new template using the drop down menu and the bottom of the template tab here. And so we're going to set each of these pads to be a part of our scale uh, by hand so you can get to the assign tab by double clicking on one of the pads and we're just gonna start uh, I'm gonna make a simple C major scale so you know you can start at C2 and just kinda go up from there and this is um, kind of a pain however we only really need to do it once and then we can save the template and then anytime you wanna use this scale again you can simply load that template and you can actually get pretty powerful with it, as I'll show you in a minute. Oops, that's not a C3. Getting a little ahead of myself here. So in my opinion, uh, Native Instruments kind of dropped the ball here. You really should be able to route MIDI data in machine, and then we could just make uh, a cool little reactor ensemble that would do this for us and you could just kind of drop it in front of any instrument and choose your scale really quickly and it's kind of surprising to me they they're really missing out on a lot of great integration that could be happening between reactor and machine by not allowing you to route MIDI properly all right so that's our first scale here and we have eight pages to work with so you can actually go to page B and say you wanted to have a key change at some point in time you wanted to switch over to A minor um, obviously I'm choosing the very simple scales to work with here because I'm kinda terrible at music theory anyway so you get the idea I'm not gonna make you watch me enter a whole bunch of scales here but you can switch between the um, different pages using the group button on a machine micro. I'm not sure how it works on the larger machines. Alright, so this template will stay saved onto our machine. So we can fire up machine again. Man, is that even loading? No, it is not. There we go. Okay, so once we have our software open, we actually want to switch our hardware into MIDI mode, which on the micro you can do by pressing Shift F1, and you should have a list of available templates pop up, and you can choose one. And so we'll just choose the template that we just made and load back in our guitar sample. And here, if you're unable to play back any notes with your machine pads, 
it's probable that you do not have your software set up to use machine in MIDI mode as a controller and so to change that you can go into the audio and MIDI settings which you can find in the file menu and just set machine up to uh, control your software by turning it to on All right, so this is a relatively simple way to keep all your pads in key with each other. And one thing that's a little frustrating is I haven't found an easy way to transpose all of the keys at once in MIDI mode. I know it can be done um, in its default mode, but in MIDI mode it seems uh, a little difficult. But one thing we can do if we know the synth that we're using well. For example, for our sound today we used Massive. Uh, we can go into the Massive synth itself and transpose the notes up or down. So using the global tune parameter here in the global section, we can actually take our C major scale and tune it up to be a D sharp major, for example, by tuning everything up by uh, three semitones. And of course, we can get an octave switch just by going up by 12 semitones. And unfortunately, not every synth transposes as easily as Massive does, but hopefully Native Instruments will fix this by giving us some better MIDI routing in the future. All right, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com. If you guys like this tutorial, please check out our website. We've got a bunch of other stuff, tons of tutorials. All right, have a good week.